The ClickUp is a semi-automatic assisted braking belay device and its proper use depends on the position of the brake hand. As carabiner and belay device must be compatible, a carabiner provided by the manufacturer should be used. The ClickUp increases the brake force by pinching the rope in between the carabiner and the device when under load. If it is handled correctly, this blocking support is activated by a sudden pull at the climber's end of the rope. For inserting the rope, the click-up is positioned so that the climber depicted on the device is facing upwards. The rope is inserted correctly if the brake end of the rope comes out at the bottom front of the device. Using the carabiner, attach the rope and click up to the harness as depicted on the device. Then, the carabiner is locked. When performing a partner check, the carabiner has to snap into the top notch with a click in the functional test. That means the rope has been inserted correctly. The device has two operating modes, the lead climbing and the blocking mode. In the blocking mode, you can take up the rope and lower the climber. Paying out rope is not possible as the blocking support is already activated. To get from the blocking mode back into the lead climbing mode, you push the device upwards with your guide hand. In the basic position, the brake hand is below the device and securely holds the brake end of the rope. The guide hand is at the climber's end of the rope. When belaying top rope, the device is in the blocking mode. The brake hand pulls the slack rope out of the front of the device in a bow movement, while the guide hand leads the rope to the belay device. Then, the brake hand tunnels up and down the slack rope. Thumb and index finger form a circle so that the brake hand firmly encloses the brake side rope at all times. The brake hand always has to have full control over the rope. The blocking support function of the click-up strongly depends on the position of the brake hand. Thus, the brake hand must not remain above the device line. The device line is the imaginary horizontal line on a level with the belay device when under load. It is more or less on a level with the sternum. Okay, zu. When taking the climber, the belayer puts the rope under full load with all his body weight so that it is tightened and the click-up snaps into the blocking mode. When lowering the climber, the brake hand firmly grips the rope while the guide hand tilts the device in a controlled manner. By this, the blocking support function is released. The belayer lets the rope pass through the device under control. The last meters to the floor give to see that the landing area is clear. The challenge in lead belaying is the permanent change between paying out and taking in rope. For paying out rope, the brake hand pushes the rope towards the click up from the bottom while the guide hand pulls the rope out of the device. Excessive slack rope is pulled in and the brake hand moves back into its home position. Also, when paying out rope, you have to respect the device line. In case of a fall, the brake hand immediately takes on the climber and moves downwards. The device snaps into the blocking mode. Using the guide hand, you may push the click up back into the lead climbing mode before the climber starts climbing again.
When the brake hand is too far up, the blocking support function does not work. The device securely blocks the rope when the brake hand is below the device line, with the thumb facing the device. To push the device from the blocking mode into the lead climbing mode for lead climbing, you may never use your brake hand. If you do so, the rope will pass through the device at full speed in case of a fall. If used properly, the guide hand unlocks the blocking mode and the brake hand grips the brake rope at all times.